if you look at this um, journal finder tool, it actually helps you find the right journal for the kind of paper that you're writing. For example, if you have a manuscript and you want to find out uh, if that is publishable um, in some journal and what journal do you want to publish in. So let's go ahead and insert a dummy paper that you want to publish for, let's make an assumption that it's your paper and we have to paste our title and then the abstract. So I have a paper that I'm putting the abstract of in the abstract section and then I'll put the keywords. So I put in the keywords. Let's go ahead and actually select the field first. But don't worry if you can, cannot find the keyword um, already listed in the database, you can add the new ones also, or you can individually add that. So for example, my keyword is psychometrics, but since it's not there, you can select the relevant one. You can also add psychiatric disease. And then you can search for that. So after the search, um, it tells you that there are 50 journals that actually match your criteria where you can publish your journals in. Uh, and that one is French, so you probably would want to publish here unless your paper is in French. Um, that one is also in French, um, that's in French also. And then you go to the English one. So if you look at this journal, that that's called a Journal of um, Psychosomatic Research, and the exception rate is 23%. That means that roughly all uh, submissions that are made to this journal, only 23% of them get submitted. Um, side score of a, a journal is, um, uh, correlation of the citations from the papers in that journal and the number of years that has been around. So for example, if it's around for five years and the amount of citations it got, um, a, a ratio of that is called site score. Um, I can tell you site score um, uh, about it a little bit later, but let's focus on um, the journals that we, are pub we can publish our paper in. Uh, it also gives you the time to first decision. So for example, if you submit your paper today, it's going to take three weeks to get the first decision if your paper is publishable or not. Um, and the time to publication is four weeks. So that means that once you get your decision, it can be published in one week. 